We love you. This is to do with children. Is a、um, these four children were obviously abused,、um, and these people live in a rural area. Now, seems like a lot of people that's、um, being killed and abused live in some kind of rural area, and. There is four children involved in this case, and two were locked up in a dog cage. Oh yes, locked up in a dog cage and filthy, half starved, half clothed, and two of the other children were smeared with feces and urine. And they were in the barn, yes, in a barn. And、um, the North Texas sheriff has described this as the worst case of child abuse he has ever seen. This barn was crudely fashioned into a living room. Um, and the children were hungry and thirst thirsty, and this was around seven twenty a.m. in the morning when the、um, the deputies were responding to a domestic disturbance.、Um, And the property was near Rome, and that is about twenty、um, miles from north of Fort Worth, Texas. He states that there was plenty of food inside the barn, but the refrigerator and the cabinets had been locked, so the children could not get any food. And、um, there was three boys, aged five, three, and one, and there is a four-year-old girl. The oldest two were the ones that were locked in a cage, and he states that it was like a three by three, you know, a dog kennel, a dog cage. So we know how. Big they are, and the other two were filthy. You know, covered in feces and urine, and stunk and hungry, and thirsty, and they were only partially clothed. Um, both the mother and the father are both twenty-four. But Andrew is not the father to all the children. He apparently is the father to uh, one. Um, not like that makes any difference. Um, his name is Andrew, and her name is Paige. And they were both each charged with four counts of criminal child. Endangerment. Wise County Jail records show that, and Harkins, that's Page, also was charged with aggravated assault.、Um, and you know when the news got hold of this. You know the police department are not、uh, talking to the press at this time, but he says it's the worst case of child abuse that he's seen 
and 44 years in law enforcement. And that he has not worked with a case that the children were locked in a dog kennel. Um, my God. Some people just treat their kids like animals. Literally, animals. Those poor things. And you know, these children might not have been found and for the mother or the father, one of them calling the police on each other. And as the deputies were um, speaking to them both outside the barn, you know, outside the property, wherever they were talking to them, they heard children. They heard children coming from the barn. And that's how they found them. They found them. They went into the barn to investigate, I guess, to make sure that check on the voices and it was children and check on that they're, you know, everything's okay with them. And these children were um, taken to a hospital to be checked out. You know, they took him to the hospital to check him out. And obviously the hospital are not releasing anything. Um, but these children are now in protective custody and being well taken care of and fed and clothed. I mean, my God. See, people that just want to just disappear from your family and you have no family around and there's nobody to speak for these kids and they actually lived in the middle of nowhere. I mean, when I say rural, I mean, uh, they're living on like some like farmhouse. I mean, nobody would know what was going on with these children and they're way too young to run away and actually couldn't get away. So there you are guys. Four kids rescued a f with a freak of luck. That was luck. And these um, four children are safe now. And let's hope to God that they don't get returned to either of them. I doubt if that will happen, but it does it does happen that people get their children back when they've gone for treatment and things like that but there's more to this story um, there is more to this story why these children were abused and here's the ugly mug shots of them um, he looks a bit worse for wear. It looks like she was charged with aggravated assault. If you see his face, well, that's what she did. So maybe she was getting abused by him and stuff, but that's no excuse to tie your kids up and starve them um, and not bathe them and put them in the barn. Is it? But these children are found now and they are safe. And hope these two get the book thrown at them sooner than later. And let's have a discussion on this and your thoughts. And thank you for stopping by.